to the channel. My name is Jimmy and you're watching Jim Boy Rules. Today we're going to see a tree monitor setup over here so it's easier for me to edit my videos that I upload for you guys. We're also going to see my Wi-Fi LED lights that I've installed that work with my Amazon Echo and someone really special comments on one of my videos. So let's go straight into it. Today when I woke up, I realized that I received my birthday present from my parents. My birthday is in August. I know when I upload this video and when you're watching it, it's probably a couple of weeks later. But it's uh, something I received today and I wasn't expecting it and it was a pleasant surprise. I received a 27 inch monitor, but not just one, not just two, but three monitors. Now this is going to be my workstation. Now I understand that this was supposed to be my area where I put tools. It's probably still going to be an area where I put tools because when my cabinets arrive for that side, I'm going to put this three monitor setup on that side and this is where my tools would hang. Okay, so before I forget, uh, make sure that if you like this video, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe and press the notification bell. That would help this channel a lot. And all the products that I show today will be in the description below. So don't forget to check them out. All right, let's get back into it. So let's unbox the 27 inch F display monitor from HP. Let's see what comes in the box. Nice and tight. We've got a couple of manuals, power cable, the bottom stand, power adapter, and an HDMI cable. I have no clue what this is. Oh, this is the stem to put the monitor onto the bottom stem. This is the actual monitor. And here's the manual that shows us how to fit everything. And it says I gotta plug this in here, just like that. Wow, snap right in. This goes like that. Gotta screw this in. Oh, there's gonna do handle to screw it in. The way you have it on the camera at the bottom or like on the tripod at the bottom, it's like that so you can just turn it around. You don't need a screwdriver, but if you really want it to be super tight, you can use a screwdriver. I don't think the need for it to be super tight. So Wow, that's the monitor. I can't wait to like put it all together. So I'm just gonna do that, plug it all in. So now I would not have to have two laptops. I can have one laptop, probably fold it and put away somewhere. And uh, I have the other laptop upstairs in my room. And then I have three monitors, that way I can have three screens and I could work seamlessly. So let me put this here for now. Okay, so we're gonna put the first monitor into the center so we know how we're going to fit the remaining two on the sides. I have my Amazon Echo device behind the monitor and my hard drive behind the monitor as well. Pre-wired these, so this is the second monitor. I already attached it because it would be difficult then to go to the back and attach the cable just so that I align them properly. It looks good already. And the third and the final monitor. Now eventually, I'd want to not keep them on these three bottom stands. And I'd want to put it on uh, one stand that has two hands coming out on the sides. It's just for one stand that sits on the uh, worktop and then it's like a tree. So uh, the first monitor is held up here. There's a hand going out here. So second monitor and the hand coming out here. So the third monitor. So that, but that I'd order some point later. Let's hook all this up and see how it looks. Okay, so the three monitor setup has been done. Let me just turn these on and see if it's working. Now, ideally, I'd also need a keyboard and a mouse, which currently we don't have. Like we have to use it on the laptop. Once we have that, we will have all of these working. 
working. And now this says input signal not found. This play going to sleep. We'll debug it and I'll show you the end product. So now that we replace this plug over here to a Casa TP Link Wi-Fi plug, my five LED lights are connected to this. And then there are five more over here, which are also connected to this plug socket. It is a TP Link Wi-Fi one as well. So now both of these are programmed with my Alexa device. So if I were to say Alexa, Turn off garage lights, it will okay. turn them off. And for this, Alexa, turn off garage two. Okay. And it turns everything off. So to turn them on, I say, Alexa, turn on garage lights. Okay. Boom, they're on. And then I say, Alexa, turn on garage two. And they're on. So these work very well. This, uh, these kind of LED lights are more than enough for what I need. Um, and I'm very happy that I'll put the links in the description below. They're super bright. They're white color. I'm very happy with these. You could even connect them to each other instead of connecting them via a wire. Like, Instead of connecting the wire to this wire or that wire, you can just attach them like you were attaching a pipe or a tube to a tube, and they're amazing. Super cheap as well. Click the link and check out the price. At the beginning of the video, I said there's a special someone who commented on our video. Let's get to that now. There is Living to DIY with Rachel Metz commented on our first garage video. She says it's beautiful. That's Rachel Metz. For people who don't know who Rachel Metz is, Rachel Metz is a YouTuber who has got tons of subscribers. She has her own channel and she is awesome. If you don't want to violate any copyrights or anything. But this is a living to DIY with Rachel Metz. Just kind enough to check out our video and she is awesome. If you don't know who she is, check out her videos, subscribe to her channel. Okay, so we've spent like two or three days researching this and with my 13 inch MacBook Pro, you can only attach two monitors and none of the people at Apple know what they're talking about. I called up a couple of uh, um, people at Apple and I uh, talked to their geniuses in store I talked to three people I talked to one of their managers and I also talked to two people over the phone and uh, I asked them what is what are my options they did not have an idea what to tell me uh, one of them hung up on me because she did not know what to tell me um, the other one uh, tried to sell me a 15 inch MacBook I then came across something called the eGPU, which claimed that I could attach three monitors, or actually four monitors to my laptop with the help of the eGPU. And it would actually make it faster for me to render things on my laptop. Now I saw that there was an eGPU that Apple sells, and I called up Apple again. And she said she does not take any responsibility for it and she wouldn't tell me if it would work or not she said we don't know and i'm like but it's a product that you sell anyway long story short i bought it and let's see if it works or not so this is the egpu that we purchased from an apple store uh, they none of them were able to tell us if it would work or not they were all very much interested in selling us the 15 inch macbook pro and they said they would take mine as a trade-in which i did not want to do let's see if this works so i've got everything hooked up i've got this is the eGPU. i've connected it to the power socket and then only one wire goes in here and it charges my macbook as well as sends information to the eGPU. there are two uh, display ports that I've connected and one HDMI and I still have one display port over here that is empty so I can probably put a fourth monitor in now this does look like a mess um, but when I have my workstation on the other side I'm sure with uh, the way I'm gonna mount my 
monitors, it won't be a mess of wires. But for now, we just want to make sure that it works. Okay, so this was the problem that we were able to get two monitors, but not the third one. So let's see, let's plug this in and see if it works. Moment of truth. Let's see if it works. Oh, boom, it works. So the secret is to get the eGPU to make three monitors work with your 13 inch MacBook Pro. I was not able to get the answer for this. This is a 2018 MacBook Pro 13 inch. And there you have it, it's working. So I do need a mouse and a keyboard so I can put my laptop away and just use the three monitors. So if you guys have a suggestion, let me know so I could order them and let you know how that went, if I like it, if I don't. So if you have any suggestions about a mouse and a keyboard, do let me know. If you found value in this video, share, like, and then if you haven't already, subscribe and hit the notification button. Thank you for watching. See you later. Ciao.